7.45 in Loch Ree town. It's very grey in the direction I'm headed in. But overall, taking a good look around, it doesn't look like it's going to be a bad morning. And you never do know. You can never tell. You really can't. I walked all day a couple of days ago and it looked like it was going to rain all day, but it didn't. So best just to get a move on, take a chance and get some miles under the belt. I grew up in the city, you probably know that already. And I have said this before, but it's something I think about a lot. When I'm on these walks, and believe me, I'm walking all over the country, so I see this everywhere I go and think about this everywhere I go. The more I walk down these country roads and see these country people living their lives and enjoying all the space around them, the more I wonder to myself, did the rest of us get it wrong? Did we get it backwards? Why were we up there living in the city on top of each other and thinking that we had to do this? And of course, the country people down here are not going to tell you that. They don't want anyone else coming down here and living next to them. They want to enjoy the space. So I always think of that when I'm walking. It's, it's a bit of a... It's something to think about, something to ponder. Side, just above where that crow is on the wall in the sunshine I, last year I saw the wild garden there, but this year I just, I had a lot of tragedy in my life, so I just didn't get around to doing it. Yeah. And all the hollyhocks have all come back again. They're the big, tall, purple ones. Yeah. They're amazing now, and I love, look at the big thistle. As you it's can huge, see, it's yeah. massive, like as I said, oh my God, all the flies, where are they coming out of? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, so they came, yeah, they came on brilliant this year without doing anything. Goes to show, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. Well, you obviously had to put things in place before. Where are all these flies coming out of? They just had to come all of a sudden. Yeah, get out of it. No, no, I did nothing. Honestly, last year I just, I had loads of poppies. I have, I just get fantastic poppies every yeah. year. Yeah. And they, as, again, as I said, I don't know where they come from. It's beautiful. So. Nature's telling you something. Absolutely. Another crossroad, Crawwell, Kilcolgan, Ardrahan, Manon. I'm going this way. I don't know what's this way. I'm trying to stick to the back roads because there will be a few cars along this one whereas the road I've been walking all morning. There's nothing but me old big ugly self. It looks like there's a very old church in the middle of the field here. I say church because of just how tall the structure is. And the window at the end, it just looks quite similar to many of the churches that you'd see dotted around these parts. I picked this up in the shop yesterday. Pasta with tomato, basil and mo mozzarella. There hasn't been a single shop today, so I knew that would probably be the case. I might actually reach one in a couple hours time. Well I will actually, I know that. It's important to be 
stocked up. Hello. Nice little thatched cottage. Two donkeys cutting the grass out front. This is Dun 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 Guire Castle in Kinvara. And they actually hold a medieval banquet in there, which is pretty, it looks pretty cool. Pretty tacky looking, but it looks cool. If you're into Game of Thrones, I think this would be something you would enjoy. Look at that, wonderfully intact. Very nice. This must be the banquet hall. Look at this. Look at this. I believe the castle was built in the 15th century restored in the 1920s by Oliver John St. Gogarty. But it's not a typical castle as such, it's actually what's known as a tower house. And these would have been built back in the day, most likely for wealthy farmers. Galway trade in the 17th century. Exports from Galway, hides, tallow, wool, salmon, hare skins, squirrel skins, fox skins, lamb skins, oatmeal to England, linen to New York. Imports to Galway, iron weapons, guns from Spain, flaxseed, tobacco from New York, potatoes from Wilmington, Sugar, cotton, rum from the West Indies. Up we go again. Honestly, this, it feels like there's more stairs than there should be in this. I'm surprised you're allowed up here in this day and age, you know. You know yourself nowadays, you're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> Maybe you're not supposed to be. <laughs> Where'd you get them coconuts? A sparrow couldn't carry the weight of two coconuts. <laughs> Coming into Kinvara now, 
This is a nice little town, has shops and coffee. <laughs> I haven't seen a shop all day. It'd be nice to get a coffee. I had initially thought about camping around here somewhere, but I think I might take one last break and then head on another hour or two and look for somewhere away from the town because it's quite busy around here. is Abbey Hill in County Clare. Off in the distance there is Canvara that I walked through today. The other side, way in the distance is Galway, I believe. And Loch Ree where I walked from today, I don't even know if that would be within eye shot. It, it was 43 kilometers to here. And honestly, I really, I really felt beat by the time I got to Canvara. But I had like a like a fifth wind and I powered up this hill with very little trouble. So I'm delighted to be here. What a spot. What an absolutely cracking spot. I'm well out in the open here, so quite exposed. But hopefully we get a bit of good weather. And if not, we'll be in for a windy night. <laughs> Walking all the day Near tall towers where falcons build their nests Silver winged they fly They know the call of freedom in their breasts Saw black head against the sky Where twisted rocks they run down to the sea Living on your western shore Saw summer sunsets Ask for more I stood by your Atlantic sea And sang a song for I your